Hey, True Believers England, Teeny here with another batch of new comic book reviews. This time it's Future State Nightwing taking the front and center stage. Also, we've got Marvel Comics Iron Fist, an independent book called I Breathed a Body, and then the last issue of Catwoman, Catwoman number 28 before the Future State. So kick back, relax, and let's get this party started. And as we left Gotham before... We do know that the magistrate's out there, and they're uh, knocking over all sorts of masks, and Nightwing is no different. He sees a couple in trouble and jumps in to save them, only to find out that, whoops, they're magistrate. What? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I've never seen that before, except for many, many times. As a matter of fact, wasn't it part of uh, Batman Year One? Where he was talking about, there goes Officer So and So, and she's really acting, you know, her, her acting's off and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's interesting though. One thing about comics is you want to be able to put your your hero in jeopardy. Yet here's something I love about this book: Nightwing is never in a position of weakness. He's in jeopardy at times, and he has to take care of it, obviously. But it's never because he's stupid, or it's never because, oh, no, I can't fight this guy, and all that kind of thing. Even when, uh, spoiler alert, by the way, when uh, in, in the future part of the book here, Luke Fox kind of uh, sneaks up on him. It looks like he gets the upper hand on Dick, but Dick ends up taking him out. And I thought, because as soon as I, I saw them start fighting, I was like, oh, man, they're not going to be like, I'm Batman now, therefore I'm the better fighter in the world, because that's not the case, you know? And I'm glad they didn't go that route. Now, like I said, they've managed to make a story where Nightwing has to overcome these obstacles, but they raise the level of the obstacle rather than lower the IQ or the fighting style or, I, I guess, fighting uh, you know, skills of uh, Nightwing. And I think that's very important. It's a, it's a big difference between a good story and one that just kind of seems meandering and, it, it, and, and all over the place, and this one isn't. This is one of the better of the Bat books, so I'm, I'm very happy about that. Uh, you know, I, I'm kind of into it. I, I'm looking forward to seeing what they have up their sleeves for Nightwing in the next issue. Last time I read an Iron Fist book on a regular basis, it was one of the best. I, I really enjoyed it. So when I saw that there was a new Iron Fist book oh, on the shelf, yep, I picked it up. Larry Hama writing? Okay, I'm good with that. I do like his writing style, and uh, so far, so good, my friends. Holy crap, two for two on a review. Yeah, this is in, in two for two for Iron Fist. Actually, the more I think about it, when it focuses on Danny Rand, um, I don't know if there is a bad run of Iron Fist. That might be one of those heroes who just, you know, nobody reads, but he just so happens to make and, and have good books. In this case, he has to do some traveling, and he, he finds out that um, there's uh, someone out there killing all of the dragons. He goes to uh, Kunlun, I believe, and uh, it, he ends up facing down the Taskmaster because the Taskmaster was hired to steal the heart from one of the dragons. And I got to tell you something. I enjoy the Taskmaster, Taskmaster miniseries. It's fun. It's entertaining. It's enjoyable. But he's a fool in that. Here we get full-on 100% badass assassin Taskmaster. And that's the way it should be. Marvel has spent a lot of time making their villains a little bit less than what they used to be. And I think that's a disservice. I mean, especially when you consider that they've changed or traded uh, good villains for let's make the heroes fight. But I'm glad to see Taskmaster uh, being such a badass. At one point he says, well, if you have, haven't noticed yet, I've been kicking your butt while uh, with only one hand because he's uh, carrying the box with the dragon's heart and the other one. And I thought, oh, yeah, you have, haven't you? <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's what I'm talking about. They made Taskmaster badass again. I mean, you know, Danny Rand's got his licks in. They don't let him go down like a punk, but what's he good? 
Marvel, bring back your villains. You need your villains, man. So, yeah, otherwise, great great characters. Luke Cage makes an appearance. You saw him as he's babysitting little girl, Iron Fist. Um, she's got a name, sorry. I remember she had a little digital-only miniseries for a little bit that I read an issue of. But uh, otherwise, I, I got to say, there is a scene where it's ridiculous. It's coming up here. Lady Deadpool, who's ridiculous here. But the little girl kind of just does a jump poke in her eye, <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny. And um, yeah, otherwise entertaining book. I could recommend this. So far, so good on the Iron Fist number one. Um, so, okay, uh, I Breathe a Body, Zach Thompson, Andy McDonald. And um, wow, what to say about this. Okay, so um, I'm trying to think of it. I'm trying to think how to approach this. All right, so you start off a book. And it looks like it's going to be a complete horror story, right? Uh, this is there's actually some really grotesque body image stuff. There's uh, a monster. There's a, a mysterious priest that scrunches up a person's face. What looks like a human sacrifice. There's all sorts of stuff going on in the first few pages, and then the next, I would say, twenty pages is all exposition about being a, a, a social media influencer, being a manager of a social media influencer, being the parents of a social media influencer, and uh, how social media influencers are full of themselves and need to be smacked about. And for the longest time, it's like, okay, so what does A have to do with B, man? You got to... Because none of the uh, the exposition, nothing we're getting from these guys, and it is just page after page of this, has anything to do with what we saw before. I, I don't care that this guy has got a bajillion followers. Sorry, gang. Why did we see the sacrifice? What's going on? You showed us that our hero was in a phone booth with an 800-pound gorilla, and then you walked off to talk about clouds. No, what's going on in the phone booth? That's what we want to see, right? I mean, that's the, that's basically what happened here. And unfortunately, by the time they got to the end, which, okay, it brought it back around, I lost interest. I'm, I'm done. I was like, yeah, okay. I think I actually skipped a page or two towards the end. I was like, okay, let's, is this thing going to go anywhere? Are you going to do anything with this story? Because so far prognosis not good the magic eight ball says no it was uh it's it's unfortunately not a good book or at least in my opinion it's not a good book i'm sure there's someone out there that's saying how revolutionary it is in its storytelling and oh isn't it so modern because of its ties to social media and everything here's what i say it's sloppy it's meandering it's all over the place and i'm not exactly sure this comic book or the comic book writers and artists knew what they wanted this comic book to be so I don't think I'm going to be getting another issue of I have breathed a body. So Catwoman was gearing up for this big uh, turf war, basically, where there's this club owner who's trying to take out Selena. Absolutely 100% is not, uh, not exactly impressed be that she's Catwoman or anything like that. Uh, there were assassins brought in, and so... We see that there's like the alley cats, you know, the orphans of the streets of Gotham and so far. Uh, so, so, the Gotham, so, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, and so they decide, uh, okay, we're going to help Catwoman and there's a big old uh, turf war. That's basically what happens and it is entertaining. I got to tell you, I, I, was, uh, I was happy with the way this ended. This is the last issue before Future State. And I had been following the book since uh, the whole announcement of Snow Flame and all that kind of stuff. I haven't been reading since the beginning. I read the first few issues and didn't like it. Read the last few and I'm like, ah, I don't think I'm going to be picking up Catwoman after Future State ends. But at least this issue was a good send-off. This issue was a good way to wrap up the story that they had been going through right here. I'm, I'm glad about that because... You know, it, it's sometimes a bad beginning. You, you, so long as they stick the landing, you can forgive. And that's what I'm doing right here. Not the greatest comic book in the world, but if you are a collector of Catwoman, yeah, of course you're going to get this one. Might as well fill out the collection. So those are the reviews, and of course I like to wrap up 
making it so the first book you see is the worst and the last book is the best. Now, usually I say, hey, there was no worst, but there was. And that's I Have Breathed a Body, slow, meandering, pointless book. I am in, in no way, shape, or form interested in continuing. The Catwoman, great ending uh, for the battle, but ultimately not a great series for me. So that's why it's in third place. Iron Fist is in second. It's just a lot of fun. I'm I'm liking the story so far and can't wait to see what they've got coming up. And then, of course, the winner would be the Nightwing, the future state of Nightwing. Like I said, the character is written very well here, very competently, and I'm very happy to see that kind of thing. But that's my opinion. What is yours? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell if you haven't done it already. Making sure all the notifications are set on all. You don't want to miss anything. Cool things happen around these parts. Also, if you haven't done it already, go on over to Patreon or Ko-Fi. Drop a dollar in the till. Helps keep making videos for you. Helps keep the lights on. You know the drill. And I'd like to thank everybody who's already done that. And to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.